What's up guys? So we thought we'd do a little vlog today to show a typical day in the life of a big family, what goes on during the day, how it starts, how it ends, a little bit in the middle, but it always starts with me bringing Charlotte a cup of tea in bed. Thanks my tea. <laughs> there was one, two, three, four, five in the bed, and Jimmy said, "Roll over." Morning. Are you say hi? Everyone say hi. Hi. Oh, did you have a nice sleep? Did you sleep all night? So this is the point of the day where we all get up, get dressed. We always get them up and dressed before we go downstairs, don't we? So back up to their bedroom, dress for the day and downstairs for breakfast. We're not work we're not working today, so um it's a bit more lazy, it's a bit more laid back. Lazy normally Sunday. Normally I'd be on my bike ride now or just coming back from it. How was your sleep? <laughs> How was your sleep? And Lottie, how was yours? Um, I sleep all night. You slept all night. And Jimmy? Yeah. Right, I'm going to go and make everyone breakfast then. Right, shall we go and get dressed? Henners? Oh look, progress has continued. Oh, he's back in bed. Aww. He's back in bed. Oh, you're nerfing, are you? Mm -hmm. He's having a little nerf session. Yeah. Yes, Henners. So they're all having their breakfast, about to tuck into mine. Alex, oh, there you are. I said Alex gone to get no. their clothes for the day. I've got handbags. I've got accessories. <laughs> if you eat all your breakfast and your bananas, then you can go and jump in some paddles down the river. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> right. And I'm oh. assuming this attire, you're going for your bike ride. <laughs> you just wear this every day. But this is morning for you. So Sundays are definitely more lazy. We stay in our pajamas, we have our breakfast, and then we get changed afterwards. Weekdays is a little bit more on, you know, on point. Um, on ma making sure we get up, dressed. Alex goes for an early cycle usually weekdays, and then I usually get him up and bring downstairs all ready for the day and have breakfast. But today we've been lazy. On a normal day, this time would feel like about lunchtime. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. They had a they had a sleep a, a lay in this morning to about half seven, and they played in their room with Henry to about eight thirty, and then came down to see us. So we were like, "What's up?" a good thing. Okay. Um, they went hungry, asked them earlier if they wanted to have breakfast and they didn't. So lazy one this morning. Um, so now once breakfast is done we will get dressed um, and yes yeah, start the day's activities. That's the difference in lockdown how different your day is usually on a normal day. Even on a Saturday uh, we would have been up, we would have been at football clubs, we would have been at Henry's football training afterwards, we would have been up at the crack of dawn basically. Sunday, Alex usually goes football. Henry is at a football match. Um, so it's just crazy usually. So lockdown has been so different for us. Um, so much more just simple life and just taking a step back. We're gonna go and get everyone dressed now and then Alex will be going out for his bike ride soon. So whilst he does that, we'll play for a little bit at home. I'll obviously get myself ready for the day. And then um, when he gets back, we'll go and do something nice together as a family. So I'm thinking today, maybe we're going to go to the river. They love a walk, so we're going for a nice walk. On your scooter. No, I thought we could jump in the puddle. <laughs> so we'll take the dog, we'll take um, Reggie with us, we'll take Jimmy and his pram, and then the girls will walk or maybe take their scooters or whatever we decide to do. So yeah, we will come back to you. So see you later. When I'm a little bit more like human. <laughs> this is definitely the tired mum look, isn't it? So we're all up and dressed, um, looking pretty. Say hello. <laughs> Whilst I've got them dressed downstairs, they then all come upstairs with me. While they were cleaning their teeth, I had a quick got dressed myself. So we're going to do their hair now and then I'm going to do my makeup. Alex is on his bike ride, he should be coming back shortly. I don't know, just look forward. You want it same as yesterday? Two up, yeah? Yeah? You want it same as yesterday? Right, look straight up to the ceiling. So this is 
reality, while I'm trying to do the girl's hair over here, little Jimmy has finished his breakfast obviously, he's all dressed ready for the day, but he obviously wants some attention now, but, so I've got to put him down with all the toys. There he is, he's happy now, so, Jim, you gonna be happy for a bit? Yeah, good, good boy. Right, so now I've done that, back to the hairdressers. So should we put it up in a ponytail as well? Yeah? Thumbs up? Right, so hair up like that, look forward, and then look right to the ceiling for me. My head right back, right up. I've got to do your hair, remember? Right, let's have a look. There we go, looking good, Annabella. What'd you say? Is that nice? Right, one done, two to go. Bottom. Always start at the bottom. That's the key, isn't it? Oh, you're next. Always brush from the bottom. Brush from the bottom, get all the knots out. That is definitely the key. And then you'll start working your way up the hair and get to the top, and then it should have no knots. Oh, that's Annabella's brush. That's not going to work. So you could do that on Jimmy. Say smile. Oh, lovely. Right, Lassie's turn. Lottie's hair is a lot finer, isn't it, Lottie? Not like the other two. The other two are quite thick now. Yours is fly away, messy hair. A bit harder to control. Right, listen, head up to the ceiling. Yeah, okay, you can take scooter. Head up to the ceiling. Yeah. Right, look at the camera, say, yeah, do you like it? Yeah. You look beautiful. Put your gut sunglasses on then, let's have a look. Ah, oh, you look lovely, Lottie. Gorgeous hair. Gorgeous so that hair. is all of the hairs done. With Henry's, I just give it a bit of a spray, brush it to the side, so I'm gonna do that now. Um, and then I'm gonna reorganize. They've got these little pink handbags, which we only bought from the other day. They're from Asda, only a fiver, absolute bargain. They're little plastic handbags with a little phone in and a credit card, and like a pretend lipstick and pretend eyeshadow, and they absolutely love them. We've got them all exactly the same. There they are. But somehow, somehow. You haven't got lip gloss. This is what happens. They've all got exactly the same. But somehow, I haven't got my lip gloss. I haven't got my phone. Where's this? Where's that? She's got my one. I'm like, how do you know it's yours? It's exactly the same. You've got them three times over. Honestly. Why is it an aeroplane? <gasps> Daddy's back from his bike ride. You saw an aeroplane, where is it? Oh, I can't, I can hear it, but I can't see it. <gasps> so we don't get to see many aeroplanes at the moment. Obviously with this coronavirus and everyone in lockdown at the moment, there's no um, aeroplanes going for holidays, back and forth to countries. The only aeroplanes that are around are ones delivering you know medical goods and things like that so yes yeah, so it's not often it's really strange you get used to hearing no airplanes at all so when you're somewhere and suddenly you hear an airplane go over your house everyone's like oh, there's an airplane and it's really loud you can really really notice it and really hear it from a distance which is crazy because to think before there was probably tons and tons of airplanes constantly going over but you just get so used to that noise want to bring their little babies and buggies out Hello, Reg. <laughs> Good boy. So, just going to have a little bit of outdoor play for a little bit for the moment. <laughs> They've got their little pink handbags and their babies. What are you looking for? What did you forget? Oh dear. Up you get. Oh no, and another one. Are you okay? Simple fix. There we go. Oh no. These pros. <laughs> you <did, you're, laughs> poor baby. No. 
feels dirty. So we're just gonna have a little bit of outdoor play in the garden and then it's time for lunch already, can you believe it? That's how fast our day goes, literally. It's breakfast, it's chill out time, a little bit in the morning, they watch a little bit of telly, they're gonna now play in the garden, have some outdoor play. Is it broken? And so we're why do these buggies always do this? It's so annoying, constantly. I must do this job of fixing this buggy, I reckon, 200 times a day, the three of them, annoying. And while they were sort of chilling for a little bit and had um, a little bit of downtime, Emery was on his iPad and the girls watched a little bit of telly. Um, I sat down with a nice cup of tea and gave Jimmy some milk. I'm still breastfeeding him. So yeah, gives me a bit of time to just sit and have 10 minutes with him basically while he's feeding. So he's um, gone to for a little sleep now in the bed upstairs in his bedroom. So I get to spend some time with the girls. Reggie, go for a little sleep in the shade, I guess. That's what he always does. Go on then, let's see how good you are. Is this a long kickoff? Whoa! Yay! Yeah, high five! High five me! Yay! Oh, Reg. Hello, Reggie. So it is a gorgeous day today. So just sitting in the garden, having a little of a rest. And who's waiting in turn to have a cuddle next? Annabella? So you've got pizza for lunch, lucky yeah, you. Yesterday. Yeah, we had, yeah, we had Domino's yesterday as a treat, didn't we? So you've got some leftover pizza for lunch. Mm -hmm. And Daddy's just making your lunch, girls. Are you excited? Mmm, -hmm. yummy. Is he coming? Oh, there he is. That's good timing. You keep doing that today. Every time I turn around, you're just there. Lunch in the, the shade. Got some apples, some cookies, some Ooh. what's it, some cheese thins. Cheese thins. Yeah, yummy, nice. yummy. There you go. Right. Should we bring um, Jimmy's high chair out, Daddy? Yeah, no. All right, you, you want your cuddle? Right, Even Reggie's here, sitting in the shade. So we've had a bit of fun in the garden. It's turned out to be a really hot day today. Daddy to the rescue with the high chair. It's the carnage of the uh, garden after just a little bit of playtime. So we've got scooters and prams and bikes, slide. They're playing around there, let alone the mess inside. Anyway, we're gonna have a hot tub. And barbecue later. Yes. Oh yeah, Florence, could you get everyone's drinks, please? Bring all the bottles. Thank you. So Jimmy's got a cheese sandwich, some apple, and little her uh, puffs as well. Oh, good girl. You're King Henry. Lucky you. Florence, thank you very much for doing that. That was a really good girl. So we just come in from the garden and had our lunch out there. It was gorgeous. It's so hot out there though, it's unbelievable. Um, but we just come in and we are now doing the quick tidy up because in this house you really do have to do it as you go along because if you don't, suddenly you're got tons of stuff to do. So yeah, we are just gonna have a quick wash up of all the lunch plates. Um, and while the, while the girls are just playing in the garden uh, with Henry and Jimmy. So while they're out there, we <laughs> quick tidy up and then we're gonna head out. We're looking forward to going out for our daily walk. Um, basically, the lockdown has been slightly relaxed, so now you're allowed to go out more time than once a day. It used to just be the one, um, so I'll just turn that tap off. Yeah, it used to just be the one week and one time a day you're allowed to go out. But they've now said you're allowed to go out a little bit more. You're allowed to go out as a family. You're allowed to sort of sit down on a bench, look at the river, have a picnic. But obviously you're just still not allowed to mingle with other people. So we are going to have a nice walk down the river, sit down, have a chill for a little bit. Not long, literally just, you know, a little rest. Um, yeah, a little rest down by the river and just take it all in and then walk back. So yeah, all good fun. This is when you think he's eating loads and then you find Realization. this concoction you in his little bib. It in your bib. This is our laundry room that isn't quite finished yet. As you can see, we've got missing tiles down there that still haven't been done. Uh, be more like a tiger than a rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> Cute. <laughs> Daddy cleaning your high chair. Clean your little hands. Yeah, we've got all this lovely new flooring put down, but we've still got quite a lot. There's a bit in the corner that he's doing. We've got a door off the bathroom that's still got to go on. That leads to the kitchen. So still a lot of work. As you can see, this is the mess of reality of our utility room at the moment. Are you watching the washing machine? 
And then once it's finished in there, because it's all wet, we're going to put it in the tumble dryer. And then it will dry. And then we've got another job of putting all your clothes away. <laughs> Do you like watching the washing machine? You can't open it yet, you've got to wait till it's finished. You want to watch it, okay? No, it's not done until it finishes, until it stops. It's got, it's got all soap bubbles in. It's definitely not finished. Is it? The, what is it? What? It's the washing. Of course it's wet. wet. Yeah, because it's a washing machine. It's washing it. Reggie. Hello. So, this is probably the most boring thing I've ever spoken about, but the <laughs> washing, I reckon we do, do reckon only three, four loads a week. Yeah. Uh, Again, very boring, but we bought a, a load, massive. A load is one. We, yeah, we bought a massive drum washing machine when we moved, which is 10k. Rather than I think our old one was 5k. So, and then this tumble dryer, look at this actually catches the water in here, so you don't need an outlet, so it doesn't get all like damp in here, and it's a lot better for big families. Um, and that's why it's better to have this big room as well because basically like a football washing room. So one wash every other day I would say and most of the time put it into the tumble dryer and then straight into a wash basket and then we have a basket for everybody's room so we put it in each of their baskets up to their rooms and then put it no, away. We do, we do end up doing like four washes in 24 hours normally Sometimes, we leave yeah. it for a week. Sometimes we've got, we're really good at it, we're really yeah. on it and then we're like I'm fed up of washing, I've got to the bottom of my washing pile, I'm not doing any more and then we leave it for about four days and then all of a sudden it's gone crazy and we're like right let's just do three in a day and get them all done and then you just get on it but anyway very boring washing talk but we get asked about how we do our washing all the time so the stuff that we can't do on the time of dry obviously just goes on a clothes dryer um, or a round yeah, thing out in the garden or it's not nice weather in the house. So yeah, riveting chat washing, isn't it? So we just come out the front door, everyone put their shoes on, we've all got our hats. I didn't even know what hat is hat. Put your hat on. Hey boy, we're ready for a nice walk. Lottie's got a scooter ready to go. Whoa, motorbike! I love motorbike. Reggie, do you want to go for a walk? Sit. You don't listen to a word I say like, Reggie, sit. Sit, sit, sit. Here we are, just on the front drive. Oh, well done, they're the dog bags. So we've got some dog bags, or nappy bags actually, but for the dogger. Casey goes to the toilet while we're out. So when we go out just for a short walk, we don't really take too much with us because we're pretty much close to home. So I will show you what we bring with us underneath the pram. So what have we got under the pram? Can you say? Oh, a big water bottle. You've got a big water bottle for us all to share, haven't we? Yeah. So rather than bringing all the little bottles, we've decided today we're just going to bring a big one with us to keep nice and hydrated because it's very, very hot. And Jimmy's cat. Everyone's got their hats on. Has everyone got a hat Yay! on? And then we brought a little one for Jimmy in case he decides to come out of the pram for a little coming? bit. We get to bring Reggie, yeah, of course. Then I've got the small little um, a bit of theme going on now, Mickey Mouse um, changing bag. So in there, I've literally just got some nappies and some wipes and a little snack for everyone, really, just in case. And that is it. That is all I'm bringing out. Cut uh, door keys, and we're done. Don't forget Jimmy. Oh, Jimmy's in the pram. Yeah. Right, so we've got Reggie done. He's ready to come with us. Are you holding him? Yeah. Right. And Daddy's just getting my scooter, by the way, if you know where Daddy is. So, here we go, out for our walk. It's a beautiful day. It honestly takes, I would say, probably 15 minutes minimum to get out of the house. Even if you're going for a short walk like we are now, it still takes that long to do the toilet run, get your shoes on, get the bag, get the dog ready, get the pram. Someone forgot something, forgot the door key, had to run back in. Florence. But we're ready. There they are. So we've got Florence on Jimmy duty. You're doing a great job, Florence. I've got Reggie. 
three and a half hours to get a mile. <laughs> Coming in. Coming in. Oh. Hey, Don't run, just walk, please. Annabella, walk. <laughs> Jimmy's away. Hello. Got halfway down the road, and Anna, Annabella decided she wanted to have a scooter. What did you want, Annabella? Daddy's, Daddy's gone to get your scooter. Yeah. All lined up, out of the way from everyone in case someone else walks past. Obviously, we're still trying to keep the two meters distance, social distance from people. So we're all just waiting here now. Alex has popped back to get the scooter. This is just typically what happens. You always get halfway down the road and realize you forgot something or they want something, even though you ask them a million times before you leave the house. Anyway, well done. Reggie! There he is. <laughs> Rich, hey, good boy, good boy, well done. There he is. Got the scooter to the rescue. There you go. Right. Oh. <laughs> That's a good girl. Well done. Really good. Oh, sorry. <laughs> good job. Had to move out of the way, didn't we? That's it. Wait a minute. Even on the country walks, there's still other people, so we had to move to the side. Annabella! <laughs> oh my gosh, he's climbing the tree. Careful, please, please. Oh gosh, this is a moment where my heart is in my mouth. <laughs> this is your first proper tree you've had to properly climb. Yeah. Is it fun? Yeah. Do you like it? Wow, what a brave boy you are. That's it. Concentrate. Not that far drop, but still. <laughs> what do you think? Is he so brave? Jimmy's asleep. <laughs> Lotte? Did you hurt yourself? You fell off your scooter? Are you okay? Just giving mummy a cuddle now. But my rule is if you hurt yourself, you get over the shock, wipe your tears, and straight back on. Go on, girl, you can do it. Well done, Lotte. Brave girl. We've just come from the river, we're heading back. I just saw this wonderful sign. Always nice to see on a walk. We usually count the rainbows. This is how it always ends up. Someone on the pram. And Annabella wants to be with Jimmy, who's now awake. Good boy. <laughs> so we have just got back from our walk. It was hot in the end. Um, all the girls run in to go to the toilet. Um, they're fully potty trained now, but obviously we still have a few accidents here and there. Um, they still have bedtime nappies, but in the day they don't have nappies. They haven't done since the start of lockdown, actually. First week of lockdown, we were like, right, let's just basically smash the potty training. And it's worked. Um, so rule is always make them go to the toilet before they go out. Um, they had a bit of water while we were out, so as soon as we got back in, straight on the potties. Reggie's just had a top up of water. I'm just coming in. Just brought Jim in. Hey, Jim Jim. You're a good boy. And I think we're going to have some hot tub and fun in the garden. Hot tub fun and um, running around in the gardens. Oh, my God, How quick did you lot get in this hot tub? I've literally just walked in the door with Jim and give Reggie some water. And you're already dressed. I don't want you and sit down in it, look. <laughs> oh, you're already dressed. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear. Stand up. <laughs> Listen, is it a nice sunny day today? Yeah, Do you that's why we got in the hot tub. Do you love it? It is lovely and warm. 
the last one. Okay. Oh, nearly. There we go. Did you have a nice walk down the river? Yeah. How's your little legs feeling? Good. Was you tired? Yeah. Cool, I bet. So we're having a nice little splash around to cool down. Because it's nice and shaded. You can have a little rest. Oh, lovely. Hello. <laughs> what you got? Yeah, <laughs> he's a good what boy. What you got? What you got? Can what you say got? hello? Can you wave? Yeah. Yay! <laughs> Hi! Yeah! Good boy. Well done. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> you saying Dada? Can you say Dada now? It's like an Ibiza pool party now of inflatables. You got a bucket in there? It's not heavy. Oh gosh. Lotte, do you love the hot tub? Why are you ignoring me? Cheeky. Annabella, what have you got? A bucket? <gasps> a yellow one. Uh oh. Listen, <laughs> Lottie has a yellow. Good girl. And we've got a blue one for Flora. She's, oh, are you getting a watering can? Clever girl. Oh, Nemo, move out of the way. So we're going to be using this bad boy soon. We're going to have a barbecue for dinner. So while they're just chilling, we're going to have a cup of tea now and just sit here and watch them. We are now having a bit of dinner. Lottie's in the hot tub still. Charlotte's getting them all dressed. And then I am in charge of the barbecue, which is going very well. Check this out. Oh, look at this old beauty. Look at that. Absolutely lovely. Got a bit of chicken on there. Got some ribs. Got some lamb, got some burgers, got some tandoori chicken, got some veg, got some little chicken bone, uh, chicken wings. Looking good. Reggie, you'd give your right paw for uh, all this food, wouldn't you, probably? But yeah, dinner time. Are you getting the last bits together for dinner? It's amazing, you do a barbecue, you still have to microwave the rice, <laughs> have to get the bread out, blah, blah, blah. They're all sitting out busy, there. Busy, busy. Where's my dinner? Half past five mm -hmm. and we have Finally sat down for dinner after a full on day of being out in the garden, going for a walk, we've had jacuzzi time. We just got all the girls and Henry back dressed in their clothes they've been wearing for the day. So they can eat dinner, get messy, and then after dinner we're gonna go and do bath time and bedtime. Get them all into bed. And if they're not exhausted after today, then God knows what you have to do to wear children out, eh? Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> oh, I love him so much. Got up to a bath. I've done project tidy up, cleaned all the table, sorted all stuff in the kitchen, and I'm now going to take Jimmy up and give him a bath, get everyone in their pajamas. Then Alex will take the girls off to bed. I'll give Jimmy a little night feed of some more milk. He's eaten so much dinner, so I'm not sure he have much room for milk. <laughs> Um, so yeah, some milk and then we'll settle him down to bed and that is nearly our day over guys So we are almost at the end of our Day in the life of so I hope you're enjoying it so far and I'll just take you on this last part of our day and um, get Everyone to bed and me and Alex can collapse on the sofa, so You okay? Oh, half time is in full action. We said half time, yeah. <laughs> no, you done. So you've just changed Henry's bed. Just changed Henry's bed. Look at it. And Henry's, you're all fresh out the bath. Don't, don't look at it. It's a bit of a man. Oh, it's a, it's a bit of a mess, but you know. 
we'll go with it. Sort of did my best. Henry, tonight. you had a nice, a nice shower and a bath. Hair has gone up. That means I'm hot and sweating. I mean business. But yeah, this is a mess. I know, mummy will do it properly in a minute. There's a difference between how a man makes a bed and how a woman makes the bed. Or maybe it's not even how men and women, it's how Alex makes the bed and how I make the bed. Um, Alex will just chuck the cover on, I tuck it in and do it all nice. Anyway, <laughs> going off subject. Bath time, girls are in, girls get them out now. I'm then gonna bath Jimmy while Alex gets the girls to bed. He's ready to go in the bath now as well, so. Played, cooked, cleaned, chased, looked after, done everything we can. As we always do. Today we didn't really do anything out of the ordinary. It was a pretty normal uh, weekend. Um, we're knackered, absolutely knackered. Looking forward to putting them to bed in the nicest possible way. Um, watch a bit of Netflix and um, have, a bite, have a bit of chocolate and, you know, not speak to each other, basically. But the last hurdle. So once I've done this, Send them up to you with the hope that <laughs> the floor edge with Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy's next. Jimmy's got to have a bath, he's all stinky. So, with the hope that by the time I've done Jimmy, by the time these girls are asleep, look at the she is. Yeah, black like Elsa. Um, hopefully, we'll both be finished and downstairs together and we can have a bit of an evening together. As always, for watching, um, I don't think there's anything you can really learn from what we do because it's a bit chaotic but we try and uh, make it fun we try and put the kids first and we try and make sure they've had a good day and if they've had a good day we've had a good day so anyway i'll catch you again soon bye say bye 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 florence say bye 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 lottie say blow kiss blow kiss Mwah. well done blow kiss annabella oh moody <laughs> Say bye bye. Daddy. Yeah. Yeah. Say bye kiss. <laughs> yeah. So Alex has taken Henry and the blah, girls blah, up blah, for their blah, bath. Blah blah blah. blah, blah. Yes, yeah, about right. It's about what I sound like. Blah, blah, blah.